All praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Rakhakadash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. It means He is. Yahweh Shai is the name of His Son. It means He is who saves. Rakhakadash is the name of the Holy Spirit in Hebrew. This is um, Ecclesiastes 1 and 15. That which is crooked cannot be made straight, and that which is wanting cannot be numbered. It means that I, I was just kind of doing a little bit of um, research into this crooked business. What is it that is crooked? which is being referred to uh, in Ecclesiastes 1 and 15, and that is a people. Um, we go back to just searching through crook, um, the word crooked through the Bible. We see it first in, I think, Deuteronomy 32 and 5. They have corrupted themselves. Their spot is not the spot of, this gener of, of his children, they are a perverse and crooked generation. In Job 26 and, and 13, by his spirit he has garnished the heavens and his hands formed the crooked serpent. But then it goes, uh, and it's debatable whether they're talking about Esau in that. Uh, but in Psalms 125 of 5, as for such as turn aside their crooked ways, the Lord shall lead them forth with the workers of iniquity, but peace shall be upon Israel. So we see that the word crooked is often used in reference to a people and to a people's ways. Uh, just do a quick search for that in in the he in uh, in the Hebrew. What's that? So I just done a search in uh, my sword. So you can get to the original Hebrew. And what, what's really interesting is it's like they've got like every single use of the word crooked here it seems to have a different Hebrew interpretation. So uh, in, in Deuteronomy 32 and 5, crooked is referred to as uh, as a reference, 86618, a word reference, 86618 in. Job uh, 26 and 13, H218, H1281, in Psalms 125 and 5, 6128, in Ecclesiastes 1 and 15, 5791. So that's really strange because they all kind of roughly translate to the same thing. Um, in Isaiah 27, 61, 29. And you can see here, there's another reference to the serpent. So let's read that. Isaiah 27 and 1. In that day, the Lord, with his sword and great strong, the Lord, with his sword and great and strong sword, shall punish Leviathan, the piercing serpent, even Leviathan, that crooked serpent, and he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. And that is, uh, you know, obviously the seas are often considered the multitudes. And um, being the dragon in the seas among the people. So it could refer to Esau. What else does it say in Isaiah? Looking, oops, looking back through my notes. Isaiah 27 and 1. Yeah, in that day the Lord... With his sword and great and strong sword shall punish Leviathan and pierce that pierce and serpent, and even Leviathan that crooked serpent, he should slay the dragon in the sea. But also Isaiah 40 and 4 Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places plain. And this is really the the, the um scripture that I really want to talk about because we're talking about in that day. Um, let's have a look let's go to that scripture so hold on, if I can go to Isaiah 26 what is the day in that day shall the song 
shall his uh, this is Isaiah twenty six one. In that day shall this song be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city, salvation will we have a strong city, salvation will God appoint for walls and bulwarks. So what day is this? Uh, let's go to Isaiah twenty five. Oh, we can go quite into this, but there's a day that's that's a coming. He says, Isaiah twenty five, O Lord, thou art my God, I will exalt thee, I will praise thy name, for thou hast done wonderful things, thy counsels of old are faithless and truth. And I can personally testify to this. I had uh, a, a time where a lot of people were trying to get me in the fix, you know, try to make me homeless, try to do all this different stuff to me, you know, like sleeping on floors, sleeping in, you know, um, sleeping on sofas, sleeping, on, sleeping in the kitchen, you know, people trying to get me out of my home, you know, and I had nothing, I had nothing going for me, man, everything was wrong, but the only thing I had was the faith, and I remember at night, it used to just be like, you know what, I know this is a test, so, I'm just gonna. I'm, I'm happy that you know the the Lord. Um, I took comfort and happy that uh, being happy that the Lord was testing me because, boy, if the Lord ain't tested you, that's that means that he ain't, he ain't interested basically. So I was like trying to take comfort through that, you know, but it was still hard, and uh, you know through that I got just got a sliver of of hope, sliver just a slight a, a slight sliver, you know. I I just had a feeling that. Should you know do this one thing? Go f go for this one thing, you know, and um, it's just turned out great for me. Everything's turned out great. Everything's just um, seems to sort itself out, you know. So I just we need to know that um, you know if you follow the Lord and keep 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 His commandments, keep with Him, keep right by Him, and have faith when you're going through. Adversity will deliver you, I and mean, it's just it's just been amazing. I just had the most wonderful evening. Um, this after this evening, it's just everything's just. I'm so happy right now. I'm so content. So um, just just talking about that. Um, let's go back to Isaiah. I think it was twenty seven. Even there's this day, you know, in that day, this this a song. Shall this song be sung in the land of Judah? That's a people, right? A people um, among some a certain people that will keep in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. That's again, basically, um, where I've been, where I'm at. You know? Yea, in the way of thy judgments of of the Lord have we waited for thee the desire of our soul is, is to thy name and to the rem, um, remembrance of thee with my soul I have I desired thee in the night yea with my spirit with me will I seek early for when thy judgments are on the earth the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness and this is the day we're talking about talking about when the judgments come you know this is what we're looking forward to uh, and going back to Isaiah 27 and 1 In that day the Lord of his sword and great strong sword shall punish Leviathan the piercing serpent even the Leviathan the crooked serpent and he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea I want to see the um, word dragon just real quick serpent yeah so this is again the serpent this is the, the serpent that is also mentioned in Job 26 and 13 he, by his spirit, he has garnished the heavens. He has formed that crooked serpent. So who is that serpent? It's Esau. Um, and let's carry on with Isaiah 27. In that day, sing ye unto her a vineyard of red wine. I, the Lord, do keep it. I will water it every moment, lest any hurt it. I will keep it night and day. And if you go to Second Ezra's... Um, I can't remember where it is in Second Ezra, but Second Ezra it talks about how the Lord is like a farmer. You know, he keeps certain ones. That, there's loads of these references actually to the Lord being a farmer, to harvesting. You know, and keeping certain of His people, um, who are, you know, keeping, keeping His commandments. You know, who who He loves. You know, so. Um, 
area. So he's looking after a certain amount of some of his crops and some of his crops, you know, the wheat and the, and the tares and things like that. So some of his crops is just going to get dusted out. Um, carrying on, moving on to verse 6. He shall cause them to come out of Jacob to take root. Israel shall blossom and bud and fill the face of the world with the fruit. Yeah, so we're talking about a certain people, um, a certain people, a certain people, certain people who are going to come out and um, be be uh, watered, be um, looked after, tended, nurtured, you know, um, through this this day because um, he has smitten him and he smote those that 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 smote him. Or is he slain according to the slaughter of them that are slain by him? So there's certain people that's gonna be fall that are gonna be that are gonna fall because because of what they've done, you know, like when they say prepare judgment for the iniquity of the fathers and and who's uh killed by the sword, let him be killed by the sword, you know, there's gonna be a great judgment and a great rebalancing of all of the wrongs that have happened so I'm going to shut off there there's going to be one more that thing that I just want to talk about um, yeah it's Isaiah 40 and 4 talking about what is going to happen uh, and let's start from 1 comfort ye comfort ye my people saith your God speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished and that her iniquity is pardoned for she has received of the Lord's hand double for her sins. The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. You know, every valley shall be exalted. So when we talk about valleys, what's 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 special about a valley? A valley is low, something that's been left low. Um that is pretty much, you know, um Israel being being trodden down, being made low, but then we're going to be brought up, and every mountain and hill shall be made low. So everybody's high at the moment, who's doing really well for themselves, who've who've benefited from iniquity, who've, who've done all this badness to get where they are, they're going to be brought down, and the crooked shall be made straight. Straight, and that is that crooked thing again. So when we're looking at the crooked, we're talking about not just um, those that were made crooked. This is a testament to um, the Most High and how he's going to make the crooked straight again. He's going to make those crooked people, which is, well, is referred to in, in, the, in, the, in a number of different ways. There are the people that have been um, made crooked by Yahweh, the crooked serpent, and there are the people that have been made crooked by man, who've been um, punished by other men. Um, namely Israel, and the, and Israel shall be made straight in the. Uh, well, it says here, um, the crooked shall be made straight, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough place is plain. So that's just to say that Israel's coming up, and heathens are going down, basically, to put in a word. And with that, I'm going to shut off and say shalom.